Welcome. Today we're going to do part C of KiCad tutorial 1.2. We're going to place the ground symbol, wire the circuit, and do an LT spice simulation. In a schema, once again, click on the place symbol icon. Click close to the first terminal block. The choose symbol window opens where there's a written filter. Type in GND for ground. Select it. Ground power symbol creates a global label with name GND ground. Click OK. Click close to the First terminal block ED2609. Right click, click duplicate, close to the left terminal of the 6.8K resistor, place another uh, ground symbol. Right click, click duplicate. Below the 1 picofarad capacitor, place another ground symbol, click below it, place a ground symbol also below the uh, ground terminal 4 of LTC1624, I see I've already done it, here it is, now Uh, below the Zener diode MBRS340, click there. Uh, I forgot to uh, click duplicate, so we just have to once again choose the ground symbol. Choose the ground symbol, click OK. Uh, place the ground symbol below the Zener diode, right click. Click duplicate, uh, below the 20K resistor, place another ground symbol there, right click, click duplicate, below the 200 microfarad capacitor, place a ground symbol there, right click, click duplicate, and close to the second terminal block, ED2609. Place another ground symbol there. Okay, let's start wiring the circuit. Now, click on the place wire icon, which is the icon with the forward green slash icon on the right vertical bar of icons of the main window. There we are. Now there's a couple of um, rules that apply when one uses this tool. If you left click on a pin at a symbol, it will start a wire. If you left click at the end of the wire on the destination pin of a symbol, the wire will end. By left clicking, you can add a turning point to the wire. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's click on a pin of this. Uh, connector. There we go. Now we want to turn, left click, uh, up we go. We want to turn right again because we want to enter that resistor, that's 0 0.033. Let's left click. There we go. Move 
all the way across to the resistor. I suppose we can line it up. Left click again, we turn again, and we click on the pin. That's it. It actually works. I know spot will appear where crossing wires are connected. If there is not a node spot showing it will mean the two wires that are crossing are not connected. Okay, so let's try that. Uh, let's click on the capacitor pin. Go up. There we are. Ah, it works. There's a node. Try it with this one. Pin 8 of the LTC1624. Click on the pin. Go up. And there's a node. That means the wires are connected. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of connections. Just so that you get more or less get the hang of it. Um, I'm not going to do everything, but let's left click on the uh, terminal and then left click here to turn and click on the ground pin. Uh, this capacitor, click on its pin. Go down a bit, left click to turn, move right across. Because we want to connect to this resistor over here. Left click to turn, click on the pin of the resistor. And this is one of those, since there's not a, a spot there, it means the wires are not connected. Uh, let's connect this pin over here. And left click to go up. And then click here and a spot appears, it means there's a connection. Click on this pin, click on the pin of the 470 picker for a capacitor. Click on the other pin, left click, left click on the 6.6k resistor. Click on the left pin of the 6.6k resistor. Left click to turn and left click to uh, connect to the ground flag. Okay, yes, as you can see, I went ahead <coughs> and completed the, the circuit. Uh, to go through the whole process would have taken much too long. I would also like you to show you the, the simulation of the circuit in LPC SPICE. Um, so let's open up. Let's open up the LTC SPICE simulation circuit. There we are. Uh, I put in a 4 ohm uh, load uh, resistor. Um, select this icon, this run icon. Let's start the simulation. Which, yeah, don't worry too much about this this window. This window comes up because I downloaded a spice circuit for the new transistor that we used. This uh, SI4128DY, and LT Spice is not too happy with this. Spice uh, simulation file. Uh, it's, it's it's a bit unhappy with the um, format, but otherwise it works well. I just close it, and it doesn't affect the results. So don't be too concerned about it. Um, let's plot the input of 12 volt. There we are, 
here you can see is the input of 12 volt. Let's plot the output of 3.3 .3 volt. There we are. There you can see the blue trace is the output of the 3.3 volt. And if you over the over the uh, cursor over the blue line, you can see the 3.3 volts. Uh, below in the left corner. Okay, let's also plot the current by pressing the Alt key and selecting the output selecting the output uh, the current uh, wire. And there you can see there it's plot, plotted the, the, the red trace and it, you can see the, the output current is just about above 810 milliamps, which is about correct, considering that this is a 4 ohm resistor, and that is a 3.3 volt output. I think this is enough for now. Next time we will annotate the symbols and use the rules checker. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave it in the comments below. If you feel you have learned something, give this video a like. If you would like to see more, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.